Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Let's start our lecture number one on business computing. Here we are going to focus on business computing introduction, the importance of business computing. Normally, what are the mainly softwares right now in trendy for business computing environment and basic concepts and terminologies of business computing. So let's start with the basic introduction of business computing. So here you can see a broad definition of it that business computing refers to the use of technology, specifically computers and softwares to help any organization to achieve their goals and objectives. It includes a variety of applications such as data management, information analysis, communication and collaboration tools, and automation of repetitive tasks. We are going to elaborate each of this terminology in the basic concept of slide. Here I am going to tell you, let's say there is a system called as ERP, that is Enterprise Resource Planning. ERP, I hope everybody have heard of it. If they are in corporate or any institute or organization that is Enterprise Resource Planning. So basically what is this software is all about? This software is a kind of thing which automates the core business of any institute or any organization, which reduces the complexity, which uh, increase the efficiency and enhance the working capacity of any institute or organization using various parameters, right? You can make all the entries, large amount of data can be manipulated, can be modified, can be updated using the softwares. And using the softwares at the end, we can get a pattern of data with the help of which we can do analysis and it completely derives all the concerns of any organization or any institute, right? So this is, um, example of business computing software mainly you can simply say that a kind of tool basically which we can use under this business computing so you it includes variety of applications that is data management information analysis communication and collaboration tools and automation of some repetitive tasks that we need to do manually to automatically do it like attendance of employees and many no, and many more things right now, if we are going to look broadly on the importance of business computing, we can say that it improves efficiency and productivity of any organization or any corporate office or any institute. Definitely, with the help of such kind of business computing software, we can enhance the productivity of the offices. It enhances decision making through data analysis because at the end we can get a spreadsheet, we can get complete data according to our format and we can do analysis of it. We can make bar graphs on that, we can make uh, some complete graphs, we can analysis that what data is doing according to what parameter. If we want to know that uh, what is the average salary these offices are distributing? What are the average number of employees they are working? How many days they are working? What is the productivity? What is the capacity they are generating, right? And what is the workforce and how many are going away and how many are coming? And each and every information that we want to do analysis for any offices, we can do with the help of such business computing softwares. It also used and one of the importance is like a streamlined communication and collaboration and with the help of which uh, definitely uh, we can say that some improvements can be done over offices. It reduces manual errors because many times let's say if we want to uh, enter the salary so already this kind of system say by default salary software so if anybody takes let's say two days leaves by default that much amount of uh, uh, salary will be managed in the forms of casual leaves in the in the form of any paid leave or holiday or any can it, it can be anything if it is a uh, uh, without pay then according to that it will generate 28 days salary depends on the how many days they are working on the meal, right not only for this but uh, if we are going to look it around attendance system that exact timing we can do we do not need to do manual entry of each and every employee or any any kind of uh, product that we are generating on the company 
So it can reduce the manual errors, right? All the entries are automatically done by this kind of thing. And it is stay competitive by adopting innovative technology because the companies or the institutions that provide such kind of business computing software, basically they adopt the innovative technology. Right now, if we say that they are using a lot and lot of artificial intelligence and with the help of this, such kind of softwares are very, very easy and very, very interactive to use. If any new user is also uh, using such kind of software for their organization, they can fill out all the information from all the persons that they are working and uh, using innovative technology, all the tasks can be done very, very easily. Okay. Now, if we are going to see some of the important business computing softwares, we can say that customer relationship software, CRM, customer relationship management software, like Salesforce, like Joho CRM, like HubSpot CRM. So these are some of the examples of uh, business computing softwares in CRM. If we talk about ERP, there is a SAP, Oracle, Microsoft Dynamics 365. If we talk about accounting softwares like QuickBooks, like Zero, like Wave. If we talk about project management softwares like Asana, like Trello or Microsoft projects. If we talk about human resources, HR softwares, ADP, Workday or Bamboo HR. If we talk about supply chain management, SCM software, SAP Ariba, Oracle SCM Cloud, very famous softwares, Info SCM. If we talk about marketing automation softwares like Marketo, Pardot, HubSpot Marketing, if we talk about business intelligence softwares like Tableau, Power BI, <laughs> like ClickView, it helps to monitor your business. It helps to make prediction about the future trends of your business. So these are some of the important softwares basically, which we are using under business computing, right? I hope many of you have aware of this. If you are not aware of this, you can take a pause on this lecture and you can take a pause on this slide and you can note them. Very, very important part, right? Okay, now let's talk about some basic terminology or you can say basic concepts of business computing. Basically, business computing is a field that involves the use of technology and information system to support and enhance business operations and decision making processes. The basic concept of business computing include information systems. So if we talk broadly about information system, then system that use technology to gather, process, to store the data, to distribute the data and information to support any business operations and decision making that we can do under information. We can do data management with the help of business computing. The process of collecting, organizing them, storing them and analyzing the data to support the business and decision making. Let's say any particular e-commerce agency is there or e-commerce companies there which want to know how many products we are delivering on uh, cash on delivery, how many products we are delivering on uh, online with the help of internet banking, with the help of uh, UPI. So that kind of data can be collected very effectively using data management software under business computing. And we can do such kind of analysis which will help out such kind of industry that what is the need of that kind of API or what is the use of that kind of technology in our software. So all this management work can be done under business computing. If we talk about business process automation, the use of technology to automate repetitive and manual tasks. So some tasks in any industry are like a repetitive task, which does not require any kind of creativity, but only requires the repetition in the nature. Right, just like the entry of persons who are entering into the office, who are visiting the office and making their schedules based on the time efficiency. So business process automation can do it. It increases efficiency and reduce errors. It can send the messages to the persons who are visiting and with the help of that, let's say uh, we are making a business computing software for this area nine for visiting some doctors then by default, some timing, let's say 9.15 a.m. It is your time, which is booked with the help of, with the help of such kind of software. And this is booked time with the help doctor. So we can, we can send the message at the same time to the person who have booked the, their bookings with the particular 
medicinist, pharmacist, right, or a doctor, or the doctor, both will get the message and they know each other, right, that this is the person which want to visit us. Basically, we can use it in elaborated manner for any particular business, let's say, not only for doctors, but let's say if we are having any consultancy agency and many persons are visiting, they may be clients, we can schedule their timings with the help of such kind of business process automation, which will reduce the errors as well as manage the time. Correct. Communication and collaboration tools, basically softwares and technology used to facilitate communication and collaboration between employees and teams. So we can do it with the help of business computing software. Business analytics, very, very important part. The use of data analysis and statistical method to support informed decision making. If we want to know that particular that product is need to product more, let's say we are producing some products and is there is a need to have a quantity of them, let's say we are generating a volume of some cold drinks and that particular cold drink is in distribution and it is very in demand. So we can do the statistical analysis over the data and based on the monthly sales or quarterly sales, we can make our generalization or we can make a strategy over the next quarter based on seasons. So all that can be done with the help of business analytics part of business computing. If we talk about cloud computing, in today's arena, everybody, I hope, using cloud computing in at least uh, their, their domains, like the delivery of computing the services and resources over the internet, allowing organizations to access and use these resources as needed without having to invest in hardware and software. Let's say you want to access some information. So what we are using, we are using Google Sheets. Do not need to invest on hardware and uh, do not need to use that we need to collect all the data in our hard drives. We can we can do it using Google Sheets. All are saved. If I am switching out the offices, if I am switching out the locations, we can just log in on the systems that we are having in that offices at that particular location. This is a concept of cloud computing using which data is basically you can access your data with the help of internet anywhere, anytime in the world, right? Very, very important part of business computing. I hope spreadsheet, Microsoft Excel, everybody is using as a part of business computing in their respective organizations or uh, their institutes, right? Cybersecurity, the practice of promoting information and systems from unauthorized access or theft or damage to ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of data and information. We can use it like OTPs, right? So we can make that uh, only the authorized person can access that particular uh, account or that particular kind of domain, right? So we can use this domain in cybersecurity as well. That will ensure the confidentiality and integrity, right? Basically, I hope that whatever I have discussed in business computing lectures, this was just basic terminologies, basic concepts, nothing else that I want to deliver to you. Further, if you think that there is a need of some improvement or you want some more lectures, please do comment. Stay tuned with us. Be interactive. Tell your thoughts in the comment section so that we can think on that. And based on your choices, your demands, we can make some more lectures. Depends on your personal choices, we can make analysis over that, right? So I hope this lecture is going to be useful for your basic knowledge of business computing. And if you are in need of this kind of lectures, please put comment for sure so that we can help out you for preparing such subjects. Thank you so much, guys. Have a very nice day. Have a very nice day, guys. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bhai.